On the last few videos, we talked about what are inverse functions. We also discussed the ways on how we will verify if the two functions are inverse of each. We also studied how we will get the inverse of a function along with the shorter way of obtaining it. So for today's video, we will be graphing the function and its inverse. But before that, take a last look on our objective for this week and the content of this video. Graphing inverse function is also like on how you graph any other functions. You must remember the fact that a function and its inverse is just like a reflection of each other on the equation y equals x. Like this. Kung makikita nyo yung dalawang graph, yung blue and then the red graph, ay para silang mga reflection of each along with the line of y equals x. On the left, that is the broken line. On the right, that is the solid line that is traveling through the point of origin, which is 0, 0. The line on the middle is called line of reflection, and it has equation of y equals x. Remember that f negative 1 is the inverse and f of x is the original function. The easiest way to obtain the graph of inverse function is by the use of the table of values. Let's say for example, we will graph f of x is equal to x plus 1 and f negative 1 of x is equal to x minus 1. So these two functions here are inverse of each and we are asked to graph these two functions. To graph these two functions, we need to construct a table of value for each. So we will start for the table of values of f of x equals x plus 1. And it will look like this. Since it is a line, we just need two points to build the graph. You can always choose any x you want. In this case, I will use 0 and 1 because that's the convenient point for me. To complete the table, you will just substitute the chosen number to the x of the function to get the y. We will start on 0, substitute it on the x, and here's the solution. f of x is equal to x plus 1. And then, ilalagay mo yung 0. So, magiging 0 plus 1. And then, simplify. So, the answer will become f of x equals 1. So, yung 1 na yan ang ilalagay sa ating y. And then, you will combine those two numbers to make up the point. Again, you will repeat the steps but using 1. Start with the given, and then you will substitute. We have f of x equals 1 plus 1, and then you will simplify it. The result will become 2, and then 2 will become the answer. You will write it on the y, and then combine the two numbers to make up the point. So we have two points for the function x plus 1, which is 0, 1 for the first point, and 1, 2 for the second point. Remember that this is just a line, so we just need two points to make up a line. Then, you will do the table of values for f of x is equal to x minus 1. So again, this is just a line because we don't have any exponents on x. We 
can always choose any number you want for the x and I will use also 0, 1 because these are convenient numbers for solving equations. So we will start substituting the numbers to the x of the function to get the y. So we will have 0, use it as x and then you will substitute, start with the given, substitute and then simplify so the answer will become negative 1 which will become our y and then these two numbers will be combined to make up the point 0 negative 1 again you will repeat the process substitute to the x start with the given and then substitute and then simplify so the answer will become 0 then 0 will be copied for y and 1 and 0 will be combined to become the point. So, so we will have two points for this function x plus 1. That is 0, negative 1 and 1, 0. After completing the tables, plot each into a Cartesian plane. You will only use one Cartesian plane for both of the graphs. So meaning, pagsasamahin mo yung dalawang graph mo sa isang Cartesian plane. Kagaya nito. So, ito ay x and y axis. Some numbers na I believe na i-cover lahat ng kailangan sa points natin. You will start first with drawing the reflection line. This is a line that is going through the origin like this. Dapat ito ay dinadrawing pa kanan, hindi pa kaliwa. Plot the points of the first function. So our points are 0, 1, which is this, and 1, 2, which is this. 0, 1 means 0 ang x, tapos 1 ang y. 1, 2 means 1 ang x, and then 2 ang y. Plot the points of the second function. So, we will have 0, negative 1, the green one here, 1, 0, and then we will connect the dots of each function, hindi yung apat na yan ha, dapat yung blue sa blue and green sa green, kasi magkaiba silang function. So, pag kinonect mo yan, magiging ganito, ito yung sa blue, ito naman yung sa green. Blue is the f of x, green is the f negative 1 of x or the inverse. There's also an easy way to graph a function and its inverse and it starts from the table of values. From the table of value of the first function which is the original, this one. You will just reverse x and the y's, thus also the points. So, you will reverse 0 to 1, 1 to 2, and the points will become 1, 0, and 2, 1, like this. I reversed, and it will become like this. Again, reverse x and y and this will become this second table of values. So basically, hindi mo na kailangan gumawa ng isa pang table of values para i-graph yung inverse niya. Okay, you will just reverse the x and the y's, thus also the points. From this, you can now graph the two functions without even creating a second table of value from solving. Well, this concept is actually supported by a math idea about inverse in which it states that the domain of the inverse is the range 
of the original function. The range of the inverse is the domain of the original function. To put it simply, ang ibig sabihin lang yan, ang x ng inverse ay y ng original. Ang y ng inverse ay x naman ng original. So kahit anong klaseng functions pa ang ibigay sa inyo, as long as it is 1 to 1, if you ask to graph, those functions, hindi mo na kailangan mag-drawing pa ng second table of values. Instead, you will just switch the places of x and y's para ma-graph yung mga functions na yan. And that's it. Ganyan po, ginagraph ang inverse functions.